Welcome to District 99 Lunchtime Live. Uh, we're coming to you while we're all uh, home and I hope this is giving people an opportunity to tune in and watch. Uh, we actually came into the office so we could use the district internet to stream today since we had a, some technical issues doing it from home last month. So, uh, looks like we're sideways. We're so sideways. It's okay all right. here, but yeah, let's, well, see, let's see what happens. Fine. We're experimenting live here. Let's try that. All right. Let's uh, make sure the tech is working here. Okay, it, this is the wonder, wonder of uh, live production. So uh, what we're going to talk about today, uh, whether you're watching me sideways or the right way, is uh, we're going to talk about how remote learning is working and that it's going to continue moving forward. Talk about plans for the class of 2020. Uh, I'll provide you a little bit of update about the board and the work we've been doing there, uh, including the master facility plan and then uh, just some updates about positive things going on in the district. So remote learning, if you go to our website and you click on the banner that talks about remote learning, it'll take you to this web page. It's also csd99.org slash updates slash learning dash center. That will get you right here to this page where there's all kinds of resources about remote learning and how it's working, including our block schedule that's going on right now, ways to contact the school and get help, and then a whole bunch of helpful resources here off on the side. A couple of the resources I wanna focus in on are some mental health resources that are there. You can click in and we've provided uh, a bunch of spots there to help our students, our families, our staff. Uh, we know that this is a challenging time for a lot of people right now and we wanna provide you uh, ways to reach out and get help if you need it. We also are continuing our meal uh, service for anybody that's in need of meals. Uh, anybody under the age of 18 that needs to, to get food can come by twice a week and pick up a few days worth of food at a time. Uh, class of 2020, obviously we've had to adjust what the year looks like for seniors since nobody can come back to school right now. Uh, up on our website are details about uh, how we have rescheduled prom and graduation for hopefully at a time when the state home order is lifted and we can continue on face-to-face uh, -face, uh, with some kind of an activity. And if that ends up not working out, we'll have alternative plans to that as well. And we're just taking it a day at a time and a step at a time. As we learn more, we inform everybody as to what our next steps are. Of course, we're, uh, we're constantly talking and coming up with ideas if this doesn't work out so that we're ready for the next thing, but we're only announcing what's gonna happen as we know uh, really what the rules are for all of us coming in contact with one another. Board of Education has continued to meet and we've moved just like the students and staff have to an online model of board meetings. Uh, we meet uh, using Zoom and then we stream it live to our district YouTube channel. You can tune in there and you can also leave comments uh, through a Google form uh, where if you have public comment, I will read that to the board uh, so that your comment is heard during the board meeting. Uh, at the last board meeting, we talked about a lot of financial updates at this time of the year. Uh, we talked about COVID-19 and how that's impacting our students and staff. Uh, and then we talked a lot about master facility plan and how that's going. And the master facility plan is continuing on. Uh, our construction is considered essential work right now. And our uh, contractors are all practicing social distancing. They're wearing masks when they work with one another. Uh, we're doing everything we can to keep them safe uh, while they work. And a couple of neat things that have shown up on our master facility plan website, the link's up there for you. It's just go to our website and click on master facility plan. Um, but we've started adding some of our weekly updates that come from the actual, uh, from White, the, the construction company. Uh, there's some cool links in there that include some 360 degree video of the construction underway. And it's a great way because you really can't get into those spaces now and see what's going on uh, that you could participate virtually. 
Uh, one of the things that we're trying to emphasize is ways to stay positive, and we're doing some great things in our community. Uh, several of our students and staff members have been working for the past month to create face shields for uh, the frontline healthcare providers. And we've distributed over 5,000 of these face shields in the last month. And there was a fundraiser, the community helped uh, cover the costs of these. And uh, we've just been rolling them out uh, since this has been going on. So it's, it, it's pretty amazing to see them out in action being used. Somebody sent us a picture of one in open heart surgery. I mean, it's just impressive to see the impact that this is having. Uh, once that fundraiser fundraising campaign ended, we started another one to help out families in need in the community. Uh, we know that there's uh, a lot of challenges going on now, and especially uh, families that are having trouble with food. So we're trying to close some of those gaps and, and help get funds to people that need them for basic necessities. Uh, if you can help out, go to d99ef.org. That's the Education Foundation who we're partnering with on this. Um, if you know of somebody in the community that needs food, reach out to us. We will help connect them uh, to those resources. Uh, once you get to that website, you'll see there's a form you can fill out. Either you can do it as an individual or if your company wants to donate, you can do that as well. Um, and we are working on processes to get funds out to people that need it or gift cards out to people that need it. Uh, if you have a way that you want to help out, please reach out to us and let us know. So at this point, uh, we always turn it over to any questions that we have in the audience, and it takes a few seconds sometimes for them to come in. So Daniel wants to know when final transcripts will be available for seniors in order to forward to college for the fall. It'll work just like it does every year. So the last day for seniors will be, um, will be May 15th. And then the next week we process all of the grades and then it takes about a week or two after that for final transcri transcripts to be published and out. But nothing will change in the timelines that have happened uh, in the past. That's all that's coming. All right. Through, so had a lot of people participate. Awesome. Well, There's thank you. People. Thank you for hanging out with us. And we know a lot of people watch this after, after it's not live and it's recorded. So thank you for continuing to follow what's going on. Thank you to the community for supporting uh, everything that we're doing. And uh, thanks for tuning in.